Hello everyone, my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about endogenous growth model like Aero, Java, Locus and Romer. What do you mean by endogenous growth model? According to endogenous growth model, technological process is endogenous, not exogenous. According to endogenous growth model, technological process is endogenous, not exogenous. But Solo said the technological process is exogenous. That's why endogenous growth model develop in reaction to omission in Solo growth model. And the endogenous technological process means technological advancement depend on internal factor within economy like research and development efforts and human capital. This model explains long run economic growth depend on internal factor within economy like human capital, innovation and knowledge. And also explain government and private sector work as an endogenous element and contribute to research and development eventually lead to technological progress. Now we'll say assumptions. Assume so many firms in market support government intervention. Knowledge and technological progress are known rival. That means if one person uses his knowledge and develops some technology, it will not reduce other person's ability to use it. Increasing return to scale, that means we receive more output as compared to input. Obviously, we are using research and development, human capital accumulation. This will give us more output as compared to input. Technical changes are based on new ideas, creativity, innovation. Some endogenous growth model assume imperfect competition, especially monopolistic competition because we are using research and development, innovation, which are mainly associated with monopolistic competition. Long run economic growth depends on endogenous factor. First of all, we are going to talk about arrow model, which is also known as learning by doing model. This model emphasizes learning by doing to enhance human capital, productivity and innovation. This model emphasizes learning by doing to enhance human capital, productivity and innovation. Learning by doing means productivity increase as workers and firm gain experience through reputation and practice. Technological change. This model highlight how learning by doing lead to technological advancement, eventually economic growth. Knowledge accumulation. This model emphasizes knowledge accumulation through experience is key input in production process and contribute to long run economic growth. Now we will see equation. In this equation, L dash over L represent growth rate of labor productivity and K dash over K represent growth rate of capital stock. And this symbol represent learning coefficient or we can say that this symbol represent how much learning by doing directly improve capital accumulation. Overall, this equ equation explain um, a growth rate of labor productivity and growth rate of capital stock will increase efficiency but how much efficiency will uh, increase through capital accumulation is represented by this uh, symbol second equation y equal to ak y represent total output k represent capital stock and capital stock we include uh, both type of capital human capital and physical capital a is all factor productivity or you can say the total factor productivity which mainly depend on technology. Overall this equation explain our output depend on uh, capital accumulation and technology. Now we are going to talk about Ujava Locus model. This model explain how human capital accumulation can increase the long run growth of economy. This model explain how human capital accumulation can increase the long run growth of any economy. Human capital accumulation means increase knowledge, skill and experiences of human being which eventually increase their productivity. This model introduced two sector framework. Two sector framework means we divide economy into two sector, good sector and human capital accumulation sector. In good sector, we produce goods and services and human capital accumulation sector, we provide knowledge, skill and increase experiences of human being so that their productivity can increase. According to this model, economic growth is a result of internal factor like human capita capital, not any external factor. And this model predict increase the time spent on education can increase economic growth of any country. Now we will see equation of Ujava Lucas model. This model focuses on human capital accumulation. 
and human capital grow through investment in education and skill. And growth rate of human capital mainly depend on two factors. First is how much time you allocate on uh, education, skills. Second thing, uh, efficiency of human capital formation. In this equation, T mainly represent time period. And uh, H dash T over H T represent uh, change in human capital over time or we can say the growth rate in human capital. And uh, 1 minus U into T represent proportion of time we allocated uh, to education. And this symbol represents efficiency of human capital formation. So, we can say the growth rate in human capital depend on uh, how much time we allocated uh, in education and uh, efficiency of human capital formation. Ujava Lucas model talks about two sector uh, framework that is divide economy into two sector, good sector and human capital accumulation sector. We have already discussed about equation of uh, human capital accumulation. Now we will see equation of good sector. Y represent output, A represent technological parameter, K represents stroke of physical capital, U is a fraction which shows how much time we are allocating to production. N represent total labor force, H represent level of human capital per worker and A represent elasticity of output with respect to physical capital means how much output change when you change physical capital. Now we are going to talk about Romer model. According to this model, innovation and technological advancement are not random events. According to this model, innovation and the technological advancement are not random events. But why? Because innovation and technological advancement influenced by research and development and investment in human capital. That means according to this model, research and development and investment in human capital is very important. According to this model, knowledge and technology are known rivals. That means if one person uses his knowledge and develops some technology, it will not reduce other person ability to use it. And according to this model, if we invest more in research and development, then it will give us increasing return to scale. Obviously, if you are investing more in research and development, your output will increase more than input. And according to this model, because technological process is endogenous, that's why government should encourage research and development, protect intellectual property rights, support education and human capital to foster long-term economic growth. Now we will see equation of Romer model. According to this model, knowledge accumulation is influenced by research and development. Delta A represents change in knowledge or we can say increase in knowledge. And LRT represent time allocated on research and development and this symbol represents efficiency of research. According to this equation, increase in knowledge or change in knowledge is influenced by how much time we allocated on research and development and efficiency of research and development process. As we earlier discussed, according to this model, uh, technological advancement is not a random event. It influenced by research and development and investment in human capital. With this equation, we will clearly understand. And delta A represent increase in technology or we can change in technology. F represent production function for technology. And K A represent capital investment in developing new technology. H A represent human capital use for research and development of new knowledge. A represent uh, current technology. In short, this uh, equation explain technological advancement is influenced by how much you invest in new technology, how much you invest in human capital plus research and development. Now we are going to talk about criticism, lack of empirical evidence, there is a lack of data which support uh, endogenous growth model. Based on assumption of increasing return to scale, which is not more practical, constant return to scale assumption is very practical. Over simplifies the process of knowledge creation, but this is not so simple. Core assumption of this model is knowledge, skill, talk about knowledge, skill, but it is, it is very difficult to measure knowledge and skill if you talk about individual level. More focus on human capital, very less focus on physical capital very less attention on legal system which is very important. 
more focus on internal factor and ignore external factor like globalization, international trade, which is very important. So this is all about endogenous growth model. I think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. Take care.